Hey y'all, it's Jessie Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I love art journaling. I have Keenan here. Hello. <laughs> Hi Keenan. Hi. He's our camera guy, our art cheerleader, special effects man. S special <laughs> local effects. <laughs> this is what we're gonna make today. Uh, Isn't that fun? So, so sweet. sweet. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of this is kind of an open letter to uh, acknowledge some kindness. So that's. Mm. That's so what we're gonna do. We've been working in the theme of letters and posts, and so we're taking the ideas of writing letters and applying them to our art journal in some fun ways. And we've been working with some fun supplies. We're using these fun stamps from Marigold. Um, there's 13 stamps in here, so there's lots of options. We're gonna be using this butterfly stamp and this So Sweet stamp and this little strip of floral strip is what I'm calling that. <laughs> okay, I like that. So those are stamps, and then we're gonna be using this um, kind of bluish purple ink. We're gonna use the black ink right there for the So Sweet one. We're gonna use Funky Fuchsia paint. Mm. We're gonna use our white linen, the Dilutions paint. Wait, I just thought of a song. We got, um, what's your song? Sorry, keep going. <laughs> we got some Yes paints we're gonna use for our supplies. <laughs> I just want them to know what the supplies are. I Keenan. always Hold cut it. into the supplies. Okay, so those are our supplies, and um, uh, you know, the, you got all these colors you can play with um, that come in the box. So you, you don't have to use those colors. You can you can get crazy, um, and then you might want to have some scissors or um, a craft knife because we're gonna be cutting out this cool balloon and some of these elements. And I'm just going to use my round eight brush for the painting, and I like to use this to apply my yes paste. This palette knife clip to keep things you know laying flat and. Uh, you're gonna want an extra piece of paper. I just got some typing paper here for that little part that we're gonna be journaling. And we've already done one project. We did this project previously. So we have some of our collage paper already cut out, but we're gonna be using this space right here for that part. And we'll be cutting out of our other page. So you're gonna use your collage paper. Now, if you don't have collage paper, or some of these supplies and you're just finding this video and you wanna follow on, use whatever you want. But a lot of these things can um, can be, ideas can be interchanged and whatnot. Okay, what was your? Well, I apologize for interrupting the supplies. Fine. I, I tended to do that. <laughs> but the song was, <clears throat> paint that paper funky paint. <laughs> oh, cause the funky fuchsia? Yeah. I like it. Thank you. Just, I like you know, it. It's not a big deal. I stole the, the notes. <laughs> Well, Keenan actually told me, like, I don't know, after we filmed one, he's like, man, I keep interrupting the supplies, and I want to be able to <laughs> put those time. on the side for you guys. And I was like, well, stop it. <laughs> so when he interrupted me, I gave him this, like, look, like, wait, hold on. I did. That's why I was like, oh, the supplies. <laughs> so that's what's happening, y'all. Okay. So if you have followed along with us before, you know we like to use a prompt and a technique and mix and match those to get these projects. Um, <clears throat> and... The technique that we're gonna do is open letter, and the prompt that we're gonna use is called kindness correspondence. So let me read you this a little prompt and get you thinking. Have you ever wished you could acknowledge the kind gesture of a stranger after the moment has already passed? Maybe someone let you go first in traffic on a rough day, or someone paid it forward in a drive through on a hectic morning. You can capture how it felt to be cared for and seen in a seemingly small but significant way. Try opening an Try writing an open letter to that good Samaritan and include it in your art journal. I like that. Thanks. So I, I think it's kind of fun. We're writing different letters. We're doing different things with um, letters and posts kind of theme. But this is one that um, I thought of because I was having a hectic day in the um, in the store with my children. Mm. Everybody was really tired, and I made the choice to bring them all into the store, the big supermarket store, whatever. Brave. And um, there was a lady who just saw me and was so kind and like talked to my kids and like offered them a sticker or something, you know, whatever. And I just, I just instead of feeling like judged, like I don't like have this like show figured out, <laughs> like everybody's like freaking out. You know, she showed me love and she showed me kindness and she helped a stranger, you know, and I like immediately felt less stressed and it impacted my whole day, just that little little act of kindness from her. And so I often think about that. Um, and I think it, I think I didn't get to really like express how she made me feel in the moment because it was still a little, you know, chaotic. Sure. Um, but 
as I was driving home, I was like, gosh, I should have said something to her more, you know, gosh, I wish I would have acknowledged like that she really did help me out. But it's one of those things you kind of warm up to and then you realize what an impact it was. And it's almost like, oh, I missed that opportunity. But if you're feeling that way and you have some kindness um, that you'd like to record in your journal, this is, this is a way we can do it. This is a great way to do it. Okay, so the other thing that I like to do when we're doing art journaling, besides mixing a technique and talking about a prompt and thinking about our inspiration is just to like take a minute to take a breath like and it might feel weird but you got to do it you got to just take a breath like there we go Keenan now you're already looking more relaxed I feel way better <laughs> I think it's important that you take a second for yourself I mean we we hear that we hear people say that and you're like yeah 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 but like really like you're taking a minute for yourself right now to do some art and you're giving yourself permission to just let the world go and do this. And sometimes we can feel a little guilty about taking this time because there's that whole big to-do list of stuff that needs to be done. But I think, I really truly believe that when you take the time to give yourself some self-care, you have so much more energy to give everything else. And so, yeah, just give yourself a sec. That's, that's my intention for today. Nice. <laughs> a sec, a minute, a snack, some art, whatever, you know. I wish I had a good rhyme for this, but I do not. <laughs> it's okay. Take You'll think of it. I'll, I'll take my time for myself. <laughs> okay, so y'all ready to get started? Yes. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to put our, my little example over here. I'm going to bring my um, journal. And if you haven't done this one, go check it out. It's uh, expanding the story. We had a good time making that one. All right. I'm just going to put my clip right here and keep things out of the way. <clears throat> We're going to start. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna start with our um, blue ink and our butterfly. Now, we do have acrylic blocks available and if you like, um, wanna do that, you can do that. But if you don't have an acrylic block, you can do this with it. So I just put it on my lid of my stamp. That's it. So simple. And I just think that this is just a fun, relaxing thing. We did a similar thing with our last project where we just <clears throat> just stamped the whole page with this one image which is so fun so yeah just take a minute to sort of zone out and stamp this butterfly all over your page that's what we're gonna do We did it, I'm liking that. <clears throat> Butterflies everywhere. <laughs> One of my favorite things. I think my favorite is the middle and I love the spacing in between all of them. Thanks, it's kind of fun to just play around. Like you don't have to have this like perfection like pattern. You can just kind of fill the space and rotate it as you go. Yeah. And if you have a baby wipe, those are great for cleaning these stamps. I'm just gonna use a white wet paper towel because I forgot to bring my baby wipes in here just to clean it up a little bit for now and then I'll finish cleaning it after but just a tip baby wipes are great for this and this ink dries pretty quickly but I'm just gonna give it a second before I, um, I start painting on it but okay so that's feeling more clean I like to put my stamp just right back on my cling that it goes on to Make sure I don't lose it, whatever, but. Mm. Oh, that's a good routine then. Yeah. Use the stamp, clean the stamp, place the stamp where it belongs, and your paint will be dry by the time you're done. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's already, it's already happening, so. Yeah, nice. Schmack. Okay, so next we're going to mix a little bit of our funky fuchsia with our white linen. So we got our paint, now we're ready to put a little paint on our 
Can you see this palette? Should I move it over? Or we good? Yeah, a little over. Yeah, that's good. So I just mix that funky fuchsia with a little white. And I think it's kind of fun to just play around with the opacities of the paint so we can make it a little darker in some areas. And I even think you don't got to cover the whole thing. It's kind of cool to leave some white space. Well, that's what I was saying. I love the white space. It makes it seem... Well, actually, I don't know what it makes it seem, but I like it. So I would keep it, but that's just me. So yeah, just swirl some paint around. Don't get crazy. Don't be precious. We're just having a good time. And a lot of this is going to get covered with our um, <laughs> collage paper. I just <laughs> forgot everything in my mind right there. Isn't that a fun color combo though? I like the fuchsia combo. with this. It's like a fly. subtle color. The the well, both of them are subtle, but the combo between the two is just wonderful. I really like it. I rock that. All right. <clears throat> we'll just set this aside and let it dry while we work on our other pieces. Let's see. We can. get this going. I think that's about the right width for that. So we're looking at, let's see. Oh, my whole, everything shifted on me. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> just want to do some measuring and I don't know if I brought my... That was my... a tricky optical illusion. I'm sure that confused a couple people. Three and a half inches is how wide that is. I just okay. can't remember. And I forgot my ruler, so we're just going to wing it. It's going to be fine. But if you want to use a ruler to trim your paper, if you're feeling like you want to have that precision, then you go right ahead. I'm just going to do this. This probably was a little wider than that. Darn it. Let's see. Three and a quarter. Three. What did I say? That's three. I really needed three and a half. Yep, three and a half. You got more paper if we don't get this right. Fine, it's just paper. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So, and then I'm just gonna tear the bottom because I think that looks good. So we got our paper ready for that. Cute, 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 okay. And we can stamp that, actually. <clears throat> and you've shown how you can tear up or down depending on where you want the mm -hmm. paper, right? Yeah, if you can tear it this way or that way and it'll give you the yeah. like soft edge up if you tear it towards you or if you tear it away then that not soft edge so it'll just be like that so yeah good good call out okay yeah. we don't have an acrylic block because i wanted to show you how to do it without in case you didn't have one um but uh for this we have this clean so we can use this as a stamp so i'm going to take my other stamps off and i'll put them back on here to keep them all organized don't worry keenan okay thank you because <laughs> they have, they all have their places. <clears throat> and you'll see these colors on here. They look like this when you buy them. And then as you use them, your stamp kind of inks can um, like tint them a little bit. So that's just gives them character. Okay, putting all those stamps over there for now. Okay, so now <clears throat> you can see the stamp on your, your cling, right? And I have it ready so that's kind of nice having a clear either acrylic block or you know if you're using this kind of thing to, see to be able it. to line it up and get it right where you want it so that's where I want it and I'm going to do this with it I'm just gonna pat that on there oh that's a good idea I was wondering how you were gonna get the color on there yeah so just a little instead of getting the ink on this pad we'll put the pad on the ink um, stamp. Ink pad on the sand. Goodness gracious. You know what I'm saying. It's a tongue twister. Okay, so I think that's nice. Now if you're like, well, I don't know if I can do this, you can practice. Take a minute to practice. Got an extra little bit of paper here, no big deal. We're just going to put it down and then gently press it across, making sure you get an even impression. And then I like to put my hand down 
and lift this up and away and then you get a really good um, stamp there. Easy enough? So simple. Okay, let's do it for the real deal now. <clears throat> we'll ink it up again. Looking good. Get it where I want it. That feels right and I'm just going to press it down. Then I'm going to put my hand down here and I'm going to lift up and away. Perfection! I wasn't, I wasn't surprised. I was a little surprised. <laughs> it's good. It was it feels not good to get a it right. surprise. <laughs> I wasn't surprised that it turned out perfect. No, why would you be? Okay, so we got that piece that we'll want to use in a little bit. We'll just set it right there out of the way. Now we can uh, trim out our, oh no, let's keep stamping because that's, that's what, we're in stamp mode. Let's see, we're going to use this little bit of the scraps that we have left over here and we're going to do So Sweet next. <clears throat> so I'm going to get my stamp, flip it over, whoop. To take this guy off. Oh yeah, by the way, clean your stamp. Mm, good call. Clean it as best as you can. Like I said, a baby wipe works better, but this little bit of wet water with a paper towel also works great. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. I'm just trying to find my so sweet. And I'm gonna line it up <clears throat> with the cling so that it's gonna be easy for me to place it on there, you know. So I'm liking that. I'm gonna stamp that right on to this kind of taupey aged paper. I'm gonna use black ink this time. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna dab it on to my acrylic stamp. Can you do, with these stamps, can you do a gradient color change? You can. Is it, would, does that ruin the pads at all? Um, I think there's like blending tools that you can do that with, and maybe okay. maybe I'll do that in the lawn app. So stay tuned. We'll do something Ooh, in lawn app. Okay, it. okay, okay. So just gonna put this right on my paper, and I'm gonna press down. Can you show us that in the uh, side camp? Oh yeah, perfect. Thank you. Okay, then I'm gonna, like I said before, I'm gonna press down and lift up and away. Perfect. Ooh. So I trim that looks out. Like it was again. printed there. That's awesome. We did print it. We printed those, it right on there. Those stamps are so cool. I love them. And you can reuse these for so many things. Like you can write some letters and put some stamps on the envelope and <clears throat> decorate them. Multiple letters, multiple stamps, multiple cards. Ooh, make a couple special this could be a so sweet 16 birthday card well sure my or nephew, so sweet my nephew just turned 16 and that would have been great if i'd had this for that he would have oh. thought you lettered that <laughs> i made this okay so we got our stamp all clean and we'll just put that over there for now okay so the next step is make sure your hands are clean because sometimes i get ink on them and then i'm like oh no i put a fingerprint but you know, just keeping keeping your journal with your fingerprint. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm just gonna roughly cut around this. Just kind of giving some air to it. You can cut it out however you want, but I kind of like doing it like this. You could also use a pair of scissors. <clears throat> I just didn't bring any, so. <laughs> Do whatever works for you. Turn your paper if that feels more comfortable. It sure does feel more comfortable for me to turn it as I cut. Let's see if I get it all the way, because a couple places I didn't press hard enough. So I can just go back over those areas. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Still hanging on by a thread here. There we go. Cute. By a fiber. 
because it's paper. Mm-hmm. I like it. Okay, Thank I'm gonna you. trim out. I got a little ink or whatever on my paper, but that's okay. Just give it its character. I'm gonna cut out my airplane stamp here. And then we'll take some time to cut out our hot air balloon. I'm gonna start mm. with it upside down, I think. And you wanna just take your blade a little inside the area of the um, image, and that helps us not have that white edge trim on there. So just bring it in just a little bit, and then you don't have to worry too much about being so precise on the line. You can just bring it in a little bit. Does that make sense? Totally. That way there's no white paper on in mm -hmm. your image yeah you said before too and I agree it makes it pop off the page oh yeah and I just love the idea of this air, hot air balloon because it's like this is kindness correspondence and it's just like kind of imagining our our open letter to this good Samaritan getting taken by a hot air balloon and you know out in the universe whatever I don't know. I just think it's fun imagery. <laughs> there, there's a fun analogy in there. Let's see. So hot air balloons are very interesting for travel because there's not really a really great way to make them go where you want them to go. So they have to watch the weather patterns to see what directions the wind is going to go and do math to see where they're going to land. Mm -hmm. So an act of kindness, you never know how that's going to affect someone's day. Right. You can't plan for that. Mm -mm. So just do it. See, you know, what's the worst that could happen? And I think acknowledging kindness, like a kindness that someone gave you and, and, and taking the time to write about it in your journal makes you feel a little lighter, right? Less oh, yeah. heavy. Yeah. Kind of free and that's what hot air balloon makes me feel like. Free. A little lighter. Just a little lighter. I've never been on a hot air balloon. I went to the hot air balloon festival in New Mexico. My dad lives out there and it was so neat. And there's so many hot air balloons. So if you've been there or you've done that, we want to hear about it. Totally. Like, just tell us in the comments. I love reading them. Me too. Okay, so we got all of our elements. Now we can glue it down. We're getting there. Mm. <clears throat> And I want you to see that I cut that balloon out, but I didn't try to cut all that white out because I know we're gonna put it on this white piece of paper. So I planned for that to not be too hard to do because that would be crazy to try to cut all those things out. You know what I mean? I was gonna, yes, I'm glad you planned for that because that was gonna be a tight cut out scene. No, 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 we don't wanna make it too hard for us. So I'm gonna do that. That's just asking Matt. for hand cramps. <clears throat> All right, so that's what we're doing. So sweet. And I'm gonna use that extra, oh yeah, it's paper. Extra paper over here to glue on so I don't have to clean my mat later. Mm, oh, I dropped my, there it is. Oh, good find. <laughs> okay, a little bit of this goes a long way. So you just put a glob on there and then just spread it around like you're icing a cake or something. Just, it's like you're putting it on and then you're scraping it right back off just so you get a nice thin layer because that thin layer is going to help it lay flat, which is what I like. I like it to lay flat. And you want to make sure you push it all the way to the edges so those edges stay down, especially when you're gluing something a little bigger like this. It has a tendency to pop up a little more. Okay, I'm gonna leave that right where it is right now because I'm going to also get this ready. And I was just, I just learned a trick for myself, okay? okay? Leaving that on there and then going to glue this, when I go to pick this up and I try to glue this there, then I might hit that extra glue, but if I use this area like that, then I'm not putting stuff where I had glue before. Does oh. that make sense? I think so. I learned that. Yeah. This week, I was like, oh, what if I did this? Yeah, that's an excellent tip.
Now, if you wanted to, you could journal on your little piece of paper that we have here before you glue it on, especially if you're nervous about writing it nicely. I'm not going to take the time to journal on mine today, but I will write on it about my, my friends at the grocery store. So kind. The week I was um, writing this prompt, someone bought my breakfast in the um, drive-thru. That's so nice. And I was like, I was just thinking about kindness and yeah. look at that. Like attracted the positive vibes from the universe. That, that's serendipitous. <clears throat> yeah, and then I paid it forward and paid for the one behind me. I think that's so fun to do. Okay, now if you do this kind of thing it, um, with regular glue, it might dry before you're ready to put it down. I can do this because Yes Paste has a longer drying time, so there's a little time to work there. So if you're using a glue stick, I wouldn't recommend doing what I'm doing right now, which is getting them all ready to glue and then putting them on, you know? Yeah, do one at a time if you got a glue stick. Yeah, or you're using some other kind of adhesive that takes a little bit of time. Spray adhesive. Oh. stuff gets everywhere. Well, and it's not good to do it if you're not in a ventilated area. I would not recommend that at all, doing it. Yeah, indoors. ventilated areas are key for... I didn't do that. Okay, so we're going to lift this up first. The nice thing is you can move all this out of the way and you don't lose any of your stuff when you do it this way. Smart. I'm just so excited to think of a more efficient way to do something. And I learn stuff from people in the group all the time when they share their things. There's, I think I said this before, someone uses an old magazine as their way they're glue, oh, and then yeah. they just turn the page and use it again. Okay, I think I'm gonna put it right there. Let's see if I like that. And I'm gonna put this. I like the idea of the width of this kind of lining up but I want to give myself a little more room to journal, so I'm going to bring that up a little bit. Like that, right there, it's nice. That's cool. And if you want even more room to journal, you can bring that down a little bit. That's nice, I like that. Well, can I do this one next? So sweet. There's some really great people in the world I know there's crazy stuff happening in the world, but also there's really great people in the world too. And I think it's important to acknowledge those little kind moments. Okay, <clears throat> last step. Let's put in our little posted stamp on. <laughs> so you can send off your kindness. Send it. That's it, pretty simple, right? Lovely. We did it. So sweet. Mm -hmm. Kindness correspondence, an open letter to somebody awesome. I can't wait to hear, well, I can't wait to see what you make because I love how people do things differently. Sometimes they'll use different colors or they'll have this whole other concept that's like really cool. And I think it'll be really fun to share some of the kind like gestures people have shown us. I just think it's so inspiring, so neat. And it might give you an idea of something that you could do to be kind to someone else if it impacted our friends here in our community. You know? This could also be a good way to set a kindness goal. Yeah. How can you be more kind if you're not feeling super kind? I love that. I, you know, one thing, when if I'm feeling grumpy, sometimes that's like the perfect thing for me to just like get out of it is find somebody to serve, find yeah. somebody to do some little nice thing for. Yeah. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us and make art and um, <clears throat> If you want to share what you made with us or a kindness that someone um, did for you, um, check us out on the Facebook group, Let's Make Art Journals, or you can use the hashtag on Instagram as well. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye.